Hello children, how are you today? It's so good to see you join in from different part of the world. And I can see that you all are very happy and excited. And guess what? I'm very excited too about this VBS. And does anyone know what is the theme of this VBS? What do you think it is? Well, I can hear you say mystery. And yes, you guessed it right. It is mystery. And today, on day one of the VBS, we are going to see about the clue. You know that to solve a mystery, we need clue. So how many of you like to solve mysteries? I can see a lot of hands going up. Well done. I can see that we have a lot of mystery solver among us. But before we get into the mystery, I'm going to tell you a story. So let's go into the story. Once upon a time, there lived a king called King Salem. King Salem was a loving king who always cared for his people. Claudius, how are the people doing in my kingdom? Everyone is very happy, Your Majesty. In fact, the food packages that you gave out this month to all the people in the kingdom was well appreciated by everyone. Everyone is so happy and praising you. Wonderful! That's great news. My heart rejoices to know that everyone is well in my kingdom. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, King of Persia has sent a message that he is coming for a battle against us next week. I am so scared, Your Majesty. We don't have much time to prepare. What are we going to do, Your Majesty? Don't worry, Luis. Our God who helped us in all the battles so far will surely help us. Go and make all the necessary arrangements. The favor of God will be upon us. The following week, the enemy king attacked King Salem's kingdom. The battle was intense, but ultimately, King Salem won. Wow, what a great battle it was. And it must have been a great news for King Salem and his kingdom that they won the battle, isn't it? But not really. Even after winning the battle, King Salem was not happy. Do you know why? There is a question that's popping up on the screen right now. Okay, so the question is, why was King Salem not happy even after winning the battle? So the options that you have are, he lost a lot of money in the war, someone he loved got captured, or he got badly injured in the war, or he was not keeping well. So you have 10 seconds to answer this. Yes, you guessed it right. King Salem did win the battle, but his beloved servant Claudius, who was like a friend and companion to him, was captured by the enemy king. And that made him very unhappy. At your service, Your Majesty. Any news about Claudius? No, Your Majesty. He is put in a prison. That is all I know. Can you please take a message for the king of Persia that I am willing to pay any price for Claudius' freedom? I will go immediately, your majesty. Your Highness, someone has come from King Salem's kingdom and says that he has a message for you. Send him in! Your Highness, King Salem has sent a message for you. What is the message you got for me? King Salem has asked to find out what is the price to release his minister Claudius. He is willing 
to pay any price. Ha ha ha! We normally don't let our captives go free that easily. But since you came all the way, I shall consider your request. But one condition the king will have to send someone else from his country to take the punishment yes your highness i will let the king know oh no what a tricky situation king salem has gotten into and what is he going to do who is he going to send from his kingdom you have a question popping on your screen take 10 seconds to answer it and the question is who is the person King Salem is planning on sending to rescue Claudius? A. Louis. B. Someone he hated in his kingdom. C. Himself. And D. No one. Okay, you all have said different things, but let's see who the king sends to free Claudius after thinking about it the whole night. Your Highness, I have been sent to take the place of Claudius so that he can be free. Okay, but before I put you in the prison and give you the death sentence, I would like to grant you one last wish. Tell me what you want. Your Highness, if it is possible, can I meet Claudius for one last time? Okay, children, looks like the story is taking a different turn here. Do you think the king granted the request of the substitute person? Yes, he did and the substitute person was taken to the prison to meet Claudius. Let's see what happens next. This is the man who has come to take your place. Your Majesty, is that you? Why, why did you choose to do this? Why did you give up your royal position for a servant undeserving like me? Why, why, Your Majesty, I will never understand the mystery of how you could give up your royalty to save me. The mystery is simple, my dear friend. It is because I love you so much. Dear children, did you enjoy the story this far? Did you see how King Salem became a servant to free his friend? And if we see, even during this COVID-19 pandemic, many people went through difficult circumstances especially children. They got addicted to various habits and even if they try, it is hard for them to come out of it with their own strength. Can anyone free themselves from bondage? No, no one, including Claudius. He could not free himself. The king had to step in. And do you know why the king stepped in? Because he loved him so much. The clue for the mystery is God's love, which is greater than the one that we saw in the story. We all make mistakes and get trapped in the sin. But God had to give up his royal throne and his glory in heaven to come down in form of a human. Yes, I'm talking about Jesus Christ, who gave up his everything, including his life on the cross, so that you and I can become his children and live our life in eternity with him. Okay, children, all you need to do is just believe that Jesus died on the cross for you. And this love of his is no more a mystery. And you can experience his mysterious love by just believing in him. So children, did you enjoy the story today? And hope you enjoy your next session. Bye for now.